if you're in year 10, maybe a year, two years into your GCSEs, you're probably finding the atmosphere at school quite stressful at the moment. With all of the uncertainty about the exams, are there going to be exams, are there going to be same dress as grades again, and the, the teachers really focusing on year 11 and year 13. And inevitably that is going to leak through to you and you are going to be feeling the effects of that stress. So the most important thing for you guys over this half term is to try to not be stressed. Now I know that is much easier said than done. One of the big, big things that you can do to help not be stressed when you're in year 11 is to stay on top of everything, get organised and make sure that you don't fall behind. Now I know some of you are only a few weeks into your GCSEs but this is literally the perfect time to start. What I want for you to do is to walk into your exams in year 11 feeling cool, feeling calm, feeling confident, sit down at that exam paper, open up that exam paper and sit there and think, hang on a second, I think I've done this question before, I recognise this, and if you recognise the question, hopefully you should be able to remember what the answer is. That is exactly what we are aiming for, and now is the perfect, perfect, perfect time to start. So I'm not asking you to do loads of revision over half term, not asking you to do lots and lots of work over half term, I'm asking you to start getting organised over half term. So it's kind of like active busy work, but not huge amounts of thinky work. So obviously you've got to do your homework, you've got to do those things. Um, but for each subject that you have, I'm going to ask you to spend maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes getting organised for that subject. Now, what I mean by getting organised is getting your revision materials for year, uh, year 11 started. So, what I strongly suggest you do is you get folders, and you can have beautiful stickers on folders to organise these things, for each subject. Label them up neatly and clearly so they do not get confused. In the front of these we are going to need revision checklists. Now for lots of subjects these are available absolutely free for you to download when you sign up to the mailing list it's all over on my website but for other subjects your teacher will be able to provide them for you or just using the um, contents page of your revision guide is a brilliant place to start. If you don't have a revision guide then you can just like go onto Amazon, have a, you know, look through the book and then just write it out for yourself and um, just write out the contents page so that you can have a checklist of all of the bits that you need to know. Then the bits that you've already done in class, you can say, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I know that one. That other one, oh, I don't really understand that topic very much. Or even worse than you don't understand it, you weren't in that lesson and you completely missed it. These holidays are the perfect point for you to fill in those gaps. It is your responsibility to make sure you stay on top of that work. If you missed a lesson for an uh, orthodontics appointment or a football game or horse riding lesson or piano lesson or whatever reason you missed a lesson, the teacher is not going to have time to go over that content again closer towards the exams because everything is very very tight when we get to timing of um, GCSEs and that question, that topic that you missed might be a six mark question, might be an eight mark question, might be a ten mark question in the exams. So if there is anything that you missed hopefully the checklist will pick it up and then you can go through use video or revision guide or whatever it is to fill in those gaps. Now I know I keep talking about revision guides which maybe you guys might not have yet. It is a good idea to get them now but only if you get the right ones now. Some revision guides are just short textbooks um, and they're not hugely useful because all of that information is available out there for free for you, um, whether it's on my YouTube channel or someone else's YouTube channel or just generally on the internet somewhere. So those ones aren't necessarily like the best use of your money, the ones that you should get and it is worth getting them now are the ones that have questions in. So I worked on a whole load of books and we had some short science questions and then we had some longer questions and there is absolutely no reason you can't start doing the short questions 
now after every single lesson maybe you've done one topic so far so you can go and look at the the short answer questions the retrieval questions for that topic and start doing that and doing those questions over and over again there's no limit on the amount of time you can do these questions so that you're solidifying knowledge in your head you can also just go through and use the multiple choice questions on my website to solidify the knowledge in your head. This is active but low stakes revision and if you do this sort of thing little and often, little and often, little and often, the knowledge will build up without you even realising that you're revising or without you even trying to revise. So that by the time we come to your, your marks, your end of year 10 exams, by the time you come to your year 11 marks from your actual GCSEs, you will know so much more then you realise that you know, and you walk into that exam, and you'll be cool, and you'll be calm, and you'll be confident, and you'll open that paper up, and you'll go, hang on a second, I'm fairly sure I've done this question already, and this is the answer. Um, so that is my aim for you guys, that is what we are aiming for over the next uh, two years, you and me, we are going to be doing this together, I'm going to be here with you the whole way, um, aiming for you to be chilled, when we come to year 11 and confident and calm when we go into those exams. Um, so have a restful half time guys, um, get organised, get your folders sorted, stop printing off stuff, checklists to get in those folders, but I'm not asking you to do huge, huge amounts of revision for anything. Um, so good luck guys. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Chris.